my YouTube channel. Today, we have a very special video, and uh, oh yeah, she's here too. Bye guys! I'm and, not she even <laughs> and it's Cassidy Payne in the, in the His House. See Payne in the His House. Hi, it's Michaela and Cassidy! Welcome back to my YouTube That's channel! That's boring! Whoa! Boring, we love a pizzazz. Do it again. Okay. We want a pizzazz. Wait, what is the rewind button? <laughs> it's Michaela. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And it's... Cassidy. My foot is on the counter we're about to eat on. Ew. That's for only certain sites, okay? Okay, anyways. Today, we have an incredible video. Check this out. Bustin' mm. Snacks sent me this big box of snacks. And when I was struggling carrying this, it's because it's literally heavy. Listen. Literally full to the top of just snacks, bro. They literally sent me a list. It's four different sheets of just like snacks from different countries. So here's the deal, I can't do it all in one video because one, my family will fight me because they want to try a bunch of snacks. Two, they actually look like incredible snacks and I don't want to like open them all and then they all go stale because it's impossible to eat all of this in like one sitting. Me and Cass are going to start the first little batch of this and there's probably going to be like two to three more YouTube videos. I know my family's going to do a taste testing with me too. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So there's a lot of snacks from like one specific country. Like for example, I think it's like China. There's like 12 snacks. Japan had a bunch of different snacks. Canada did too and stuff like that. So I'm gonna save those for separate videos because there were a lot of countries where it was just like one snack. So we're gonna do one snack from Malaysia, one from Australia, two from Taiwan, one from Korea, and then five from the UK. So we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna leave this here because he literally sent a list full of it with pictures which is so helpful. This company is amazing. Hit up Bus and Snacks for sure. We have 10 things we're trying today. I'm really excited for the Mountain Dew. I'm actually gonna go get two glasses with ice. Cast, keep them entertained. Okay. Do, do, so these, do, do, do. these are like some steak lays and, and I'm hoping that it just makes my Clouds. You know what else is squishy? No. I'm just insinuating. No, this no, is a Kit no, Kat. no, 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 no. I can't catch chunky bar. You know what else is chunky? These are skillet giants. You know what else is giant? It just doesn't stop. <laughs> we got some cheese cake. We got some ladies because I want to get, get laid. laid. <laughs> And we about to have that blue shock, shock after Smurfy Murphy in this house. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let her finish the food. Okay, that's fine. Know. I'll eat all the snacks. Guys, no, it's literally, snacks. it's 1.22 in the morning. I see the clock directly in front of me now. We've been filming yeah. all day. Okay, so let me see your list. Okay, so from Malaysia, it's the Mountain Dew Blue Shock. Perfect, first on the list, and I suggested it. I didn't even know. Also, um, they wrapped this up in like bubble wrap, so it was like perfect. Perfect execution there. Oh my god, I'm scared. Don't don't explode on me. Okay. Oh yeah, I just like came me. overseas. It's went on a crazy journey. <laughs> it's probably really shook him up like that ass. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. This is gonna make me sad that we can't just have this on the daily. Maybe this is toxic. Is I this... can smell it. Do you smell it? Yeah, it smells so good. You great. can smell it, you can smell it. Oh if god. you know what that quote's from. It kind of comment is. below if you know what that I don't quote's know. from. Whoa. Why is it, it's Mountain Dew, but it's creamy? There's no carbonation. But it's good though. It's so good, but it's not spicy. Yeah, it's and not spicy. And I feel spicy. like when you pop, it needs to be spicy, but this flavor is amazing. It almost tastes like a like a artificial juice. It, no, you know what it is? A melted bomb pop. If you let a bomb pop actually melt, it has a little bit of that like creamy, creaminess. Wow though, this is so good. Like I don't know anything about the nutritional factors that go into any of this, but I feel like this is probably way healthier for you than like a soda from America. Yeah, cause I'm not gonna lie, it's maybe not, that like, burn is like a Yeah. Maybe it's a chemical, so I'm gonna okay. use this. I'm gonna fill yours up so yeah, we can so get refreshed can... after every. So next up, we are going to do the Australia Kit Kat Chunky Gooey Caramel. Okay, so this feels like um, it's gonna be the real deal. Look at this. Like it's kind of little, chunky. You gotta do the. I love caramel. I love chocolate caramel. This is. I already know I'm gonna like this. Yeah, me too. Okay, cheers. Mmm. 
This is a good chocolate. Like the Why chocolate is everything better overseas? I'm so confused. Australia it makes everything from here taste like chemicals. Mm hmm Because it literally is chemicals. They say when you eat in different countries, it makes you sick because your body's not used to having things that are like not processed. This chocolate reminds me, I've tried to like chocolate from Canada before and it kind of tastes like that. We're already off to a great start. Okay guys, so next we're doing the Taiwan Lay's 90s Kobe Thick Cut Steak Flavor. Look at these. It looks so good, and I've been so excited to try these. Ooh. Makes me want to go to Texas Roadhouse. Oh, we should go again. We, we drove over an hour to Texas Roadhouse. Oh, I do it all the time. Oh, these smell good. I'm excited. I want our this. I think it's going to be good. It sounds okay. like good. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Like, it literally tastes like I'm eating a steak dinner. You know when, like, Willy Wonka, they chew the gum that tastes like dinner? That's what this, like, this literally tastes like dinner. I love these. I like it a My lot. My first, what, the first thing that I... Taste it when I took, put it in my mouth. It was like smoky, and then the steak came after. Like as I chewed it, then I got the steak flavor. But the first initial taste was like a smoky. This is taste. tripping me out. What kind of sorcery is this? Taiwan. I love you. Next up oh. is from Taiwan again. We're having the Lay's teriyaki chicken skewers. This one's good. Why can I open these? I'm failing because my nails are so long. Okay, so is it actually just hard to open? One, two, three. <laughs> my face is getting as red as my head. <laughs> Alright, just rip those. <laughs> Your face. Rip those hoes. I wanna oh, be a That was less fun. I, I just got the biggest food. whiff of chicken skewers. It smells like teriyaki. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. It literally tastes like chicken teriyaki. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it's like the flavoring is very subtle though. It's not like overpowering. It's still that smoky taste though a little bit in the beginning. I'm getting a lot of the teriyaki. We're four for four, like a Wendy's four for four meal. That's my favorite number. Mmm, four for four. All right, what's next? From Korea, it's the Doritos Late Night Oven Roasted Chicken. I'm glad the chips were all together because I feel like that would have been Yeah. Good. It's always interesting. Hear me out, guys. Like I said in my last like snack unboxing, this bag is half English but half Korean. So I wonder if that's how it is in Korea. It's like Korean they have, also American. Yeah. yeah. Easy open. You're supposed to just tear it. Uh, Ooh, they smell good. It smells like ramen noodles. That's oh, true. that would make sense, right? They Do they eat ramen in yeah. Korea or is that mm -hmm. Japan? I think both. Mmm, those are good, but you know what they remind me of? This is the barbecue twisty chips. You're right, but you know what? These are really This good. just took me back. When I bit into this, it took me back to when I was younger and I was on my uncle and aunt's farm back in Kentucky in the basement and they had this big oven wood smoker. If you're from like the south of the country. He's got a little kick to it, it's a little spicy. I don't know about you, but I think these are my favorite chips out of all the ones we just ate. It's nostalgia. These are amazing. It. Like, I really love these. I would eat these as my snack every night. It's giving barbecue, but not in like, like barbecue Lay's chips. Like, no, like real- Like barbecue. Like actual barbecue food. All right, now we're going into the sweets. Everything else is from the United Kingdom. So we've got Oreo strawberry cheesecakes. Strawberry cheesecake Oreo. And the bag is actually really cute. Like, do you guys see how much of the product they put in this box? Like, this is a whole roll of Oreos. Sometimes when they do like strawberry mixed with like a chocolate thing, and it's, it's not like not, a strawberry, yeah, but it's like to be flavored. Done. Yeah. Okay. All right, cheers. Cheers. She loves her Oreos, so mm -hmm. she's the real critic here. Hmm. I don't hate it, but I don't think I would choose this. I wonder, that's probably good to dip in milk. I, oh. Like I said, I don't think I would just buy these, but I'm not upset about it either. Like, they're good. Okay, now we got all these Skittles. So, we're first gonna start off with Squishy Cloud Skittles. Okay, I've never I'm heard of these before. A purple one. Oh, wow! Wait, guys, we'll just talk about What? See. Oh my, like, these are, these are giant They feel like, leaves. yeah, they're really cute. You guys can see. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh! Hmm. So on the back it says there's lemon, strawberry, lime, orange, and black currant. I feel like I have to try that one. 
I'm never like a big fan of like big chewy things, but they have a good flavor. Like they're almost a little sweeter than Skittles, but they taste like Skittles. I'm never a big fan of like super squishy foods, but they taste good. I would like to get the squishy cloud sours out of the way. And it says there's sour raspberry, pineapple, apple, mandarin, and cherry. Ooh. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I love sour stuff. I love the feeling of going like, this is I gonna don't make me go. I don't wanna be in pain. I don't okay, like being cheers. in pain when I'm eating. I do, cheers. unless it's spicy. I hate spicy. These are wussy level sour. That's what I like though. The cherry's so good. Was that? Mm -hmm. These are way better because they're a little harder than the squishies. So now we have Skittle Chewies, no shell. So it's Skittles without the shell. Oh, so you don't get a crunch? That's kind of crazy, it's nude. That's scandalous. Like I don't think it. I can put this on YouTube. I'm gonna get demonetized and banned. Makes it easy. So they're just, it still looks it like the It still feels honest. like hard. It feels hard. No, it's not. I it's not. Mm, I don't like these. Is black currant or whatever, is that a flavor in America? The orange Skittles are the same. I love orange Skittles are so underrated and orange Starbucks are oh. all underrated. Orange does taste the same. Okay. Orange tastes the same. I don't I like the texture though. The texture, they probably had to make it that way. They can't really do it without the shells because yeah. they would melt everywhere and get fishy. So they had to do a little bit of a... But it almost just feels like you're chewing plastic. Let me try lemon again. I don't hate it. I haven't hated anything yet. I just don't like the texture. The lemon's really good. All right. Crazy sour Skittle Giants. These are gonna make me go. <laughs> this is the last snack we're trying today. These smell so sour. They don't have like the coating. They just smell like crybabies. Oh, these are gonna kill us. All right, ready? Cheers. I thought these were gonna be really sour. I'm disappointed. Why does it taste like plastic? I don't like these. <laughs> it doesn't have that much flavor. It's not sour at all. I think I I prefer normal Skittles over these. Yeah, I don't like these very much. It's giving sweet tart, like the chewy ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's exactly what that is. All right, well, that's it for tasting all of these. As always, you guys know I'm gonna pick my favorite snack, and you guys probably already know this was my favorite snack. It was the uh, Korean Dorito late night oven roasted chicken thing. I really like the Kit Kat, but I feel like it tasted too much like something I've already had before here like in the States. So I would honestly have to say the same. This is a winner. This is a winner. I feel like this would have been like my second place too. Yeah, so I feel like we're is. about the same. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, there's probably gonna be at least two if not three more videos just of this box alone. Shout out to Bustin' Snacks. Thank you so much for sending me these because they were bussin'. Don't forget to like <laughs> and subscribe. If you like my hat, comment below. If you don't like her hat, also comment below. If you don't like Michaela's earrings, comment below. If you think Cassidy's an a-hole, comment below. And if you think Michaela, I can't be mean. She was gonna hurt me. Yeah. Cue Mr. Krabs, sad violin. Take care of myself, no, I don't need that Need that